Hi everyone, uh, my name is David Wilcox and I'm the program leader for Fedora at Lyricis. Uh, I'm joined by Danny Bernstein, who's one of the technical leads for Fedora. And a few weeks ago, we recorded a demo of the recently updated Fedora 3 to Fedora 6 migration utility. Uh, and today we'd like to demo an early build of the Fedora 6 application itself. Uh, and so for that, I'm gonna turn it over to Danny. Okay, hi everyone. Um, so as David said, we will be uh, doing a demo here of this early uh, release of our of Fedora 6. Um, what's great about this demo is it's, it's showing you for the first time us creating resources uh, and uh, on in through the Fedora API, writing them to disk, and then um, having that uh, resource represented as OCFL. So um, uh, in this demo, we'll essentially create these resources through the REST API, and then we'll explore what that looks like in the uh, OCFL layout. All right, so I'm going to share my screen here. Um, make sure this is the right one. Okay, can you see my screen, David? Yep, we're good. Okay, all right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to run the Jetty console um, in headless mode, um, which is basically our one-click uh, Fedora um, executable. And we'll just wait for a moment for that to start up. Um, and there it is, it has started. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over um, to the command line here and I'm going to just do a um, curl command to test uh, the root uh, repository root, make sure that that is coming up. And it uh, looks like it worked. You can see here, this is the original command. Um, right here we have the headers. Uh, just if for those of you who have been Fedora users in the past, this is it should be uh, non-controversial and nothing new here. Um, but just to show that it, we're now in the Fedora 6 world where we've gone uh, beyond mode shape and we are now writing or reading from an OCFL uh, layout. Now notice here, this is the uh, body of the RDF that is produced. And you can see it's just some uh, metadata about the repository root. I'm gonna clear my screen. We're going to uh, now create a test resource. Uh, using a put command, and you'll notice here that we're going to write a to the test endpoint, so that the test is the name of my resource, and we're going to write just one triple here, which is essentially a Dublin Dublin Core uh, title, um, and that title is going to be test RDF. All right, and there we go. It's been written. Uh, we can see the um, URI is returned, that is that was created, test. You can also see that here in the location header. Um, the same story, these are just the uh, HTTP headers that are returned. Now, let's take a look at uh, retrieving that resource. Let's see, so let me just curl. Okay, so retrieving the resource, you can see right here, um, this is the body of the resource that we've retrieved. Um, you'll notice that uh, right here, you can see the triple that we created. And then here are some other triples that are essentially server uh, managed metadata. Um, and if you are a Fedora user, uh, a current Fedora user, user, you'll know that you can sort of turn off the server managed information if you want and just look at the triples that you as the user uh, created or updated. All right, so that's great. That's showing how we can use the Fedora API uh, to essentially write to uh, Fedora. So this is more or less the way things worked before. Now let's look at the big change under the hood. I'm gonna use the tree, uh, command here uh, in order to show you what does the uh, the file tree look like that was created. Now, 
what you'll see here is an OCFL layout. This is the storage route, okay? And then everything below here is all OCFL. So there's nothing particular to Fedora here. This is just all standard OCFL. We've got the uh, declaration here for the object. We've got the, um, uh, you can see the, there's the inventory file here. And um, the, so the files that we've created actually live right here. So this is in the, you can see the content directory of our test object here. So all of this is sort of information that pertains to our OCFL object. So um, what, do we, what did we create? Well, we created a file, test NT, and the server sort of managed uh, information is in the .fc repo uh, directory, and it is test.json. Notice how these OCFL uh, uh, files are named in such a way that if you ever had to inspect your OCFL directory and, and look for files, they're actually named in ways that are uh, relate directly to the, the actual resource names that you see in the URI. Um, all right, so let's take a look at this test NT file. Um, so these are the user generated uh, triples. So as you would expect, we just have the one triple that we added here, which is that D Dublin Core uh, title. All right, so very simple, um, very transparent. Um, we can look at the server managed file here. Notice that this is in the FC repo test.json file. And then you can see that this contains all the server managed things. These we didn't specify the last modified date or the um, state token or the interaction model, uh, although you can. Um, that was that was a default that was set um, when we uh, when we created the resource. So this is all server managed information, um, which is completely separate from the user managed. Um, yet it all conveniently lives in one OCFL object directory. Okay, um, so if you're, just a, a note, if you're interested in, in looking, knowing more about OCFL, you can visit ocfl.io or uh, there will be, uh, some links in the uh, video description. And uh, with that, I thank you for your attention and we'll pass the mic back to David. And let me stop sharing here. Yeah, thanks, Danny. Uh, so we've been working towards this milestone for a while. Uh, I'd like to particularly thank the technical team uh, for all of their effort and engagement on this. Uh, and we'll continue to produce these demo videos as features are completed, uh, so stay tuned for more. Uh, and if you'd like to participate in Fedora 6 development, there will be another code sprint scheduled for early 2020. Uh, so thanks for your attention, uh, and we'll see you next time.